are so used to hearing sound this way, we don't notice that it is merely a fraction of what its potential could be. Because you're listening to Dolby Atmos. It's all the way in front. Parks overhead. What is up, YouTube? This is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater. I'm out here with Miles from BTZ, who did the installation on this project that I'm standing in right here. This is a theater room. I know you guys love media rooms. If you're not already one of our subscribers, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. Give us a big thumbs up on this video. This is a killer 7.1.4 Dolby Atmos system, and we're running a nice Sony OLED. This is the A9 uh flagship led tv this is a pretty small media room so really wasn't necessary to do a big projection system but the audio performance is absolutely phenomenal so i'm going to attach a video at the end of this it'll kind of show you guys a demo of the system but i'm gonna walk you through and show you exactly what we did here all right check it out this is looking Awesome. You guys are like, what's going on here? We got two center speakers? Yep. We're running two centers in parallel. The reason that we did that is because of the stud placement in this room. Typically, this is not what you see us do, but um, it's definitely a, a solution. So, what we have here are LCRs. In particular, the CPWT240 LCR speaker. And we're running these as our centers right here in front of the room. And there are magnetic grills right here below. I just pulled them off so you guys can see. Uh, they go over and they are paintable as well if you'd like to paint them to match your room. Now, look at these monsters over here. There's our front left and right speaker. This is the CPWT380 IDC. It has a back box on it. This is a, uh, it's a really uh, well-performing in-wall speaker. Customers thrilled. I just heard it. And I can vouch it's sounds awesome. What is this? A gold tweeter on here? Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't do a whole lot of monitor audio, um, but we've been doing more recently. And I'll have to say, after hearing it, I'm pretty impressed. I may start recommending it to more people. But that's our front left and our front right. And then we got a big old Super Cube customer already owned. This is the Super Cube 6000 from Def no. Tech. That's the 8,000. Oh, actually this is the 8,000. You just bought that. This is a, this is a banger. Uh, it's low frequency, so you don't necessarily have to have the same tonal balance as the rest of the system, so you can throw in a different brand. Here at the surrounds, we're running those same CPWT380 IDCs. This is the surrounds. Mm -hmm. And then up above, we have our Atmos. So in this room, because of the location of the closet and the way things are laid out, we couldn't necessarily get them at ear level behind for the rears. But you can see the surrounds are optimal, just not our rears. But the guys did a good job of making the best of it and calibrating it to where it sounds really nice. We're running the uh, Monitor Audio C. 380 FX's back there. And then the Atmos up here is for the top bids and rears are the Monitor Audio C280 IDC. Now let's look at the juice. See what we're powering up back here. So we were actually just having a conversation <laughs> with the customer about a rack. But as of right now, this is the situation. You can see the shelves that the builder put in are just a little bit too small. And there's also a depth issue in this closet because of the garage right here. It only comes to like 24 inches. So what we'll probably do is pull this handle off and then do that floor standing FS series rack that you always see in our videos. That way all of this will be housed really nicely. But that's a, it's a pretty big project. Um, right now it's being powered up with an Ankia. Which uh, model is this, Miles? It's a TX RZ3100. So uh, that'll do all of the amplification as well as processing for this system. This is the Dolby Atmos enabled receiver. Um, all of the 
uh, devices are flowing through this as well for this room. So you have your one cable that goes from your television here and it runs up and over and back into the receiver. And then you just have all of your inputs like the Apple TV plugged right into it. You can see the guys labeled everything nice uh, so that whenever we do go to rip it out, it'll be a little faster to put it back together. Now, all of this is uh, a URC as well as networking for the rest of the home. You can see we have some Den and Heos in here as well. So with that said, if you are interested in what's going on with the rest of the home, then make sure you subscribe down below because we got a bunch of these videos coming for you guys. I'm gonna show you this customer's living room as well as the rest of the distributed audio system for the house. This is an example of the image quality that you can expect out of the Sony A9G. This is just a demo being streamed off of YouTube, so definitely not the highest quality that we can produce here, um, but this just gives you an idea. Um, it is buffered fully, um, and it's producing very nice imaging. On access as well as off access. And I have the lights on as well, can you hit those for me? I hope that you guys found this video informative and helping you make a buying decision. If you liked the video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more. If you would like to purchase, we'll leave our information down below. Give us a call, shoot us a text, we'll be happy to help you out. We really appreciate all of your support. We do have nationwide shipping as well, so anywhere you are in the US, you give us a call, we'll make sure to get you hooked up. Until next time, this is Zach and Miles. Have a good one.